But what if I told you that how you sleep could add years to your life or quietly take them away? Meet Mary and John, neighbors for 15 years, both 70 years old, both retired, both living what most people would call the good life. Mary worked as a nurse for 40 years. She's used to irregular hours, quick naps between shifts, catching sleep whenever she could. Old habits die hard. Already tired. Maybe I'll lie down after lunch. Next door, John is starting his day differently. He was a teacher. Every morning at 6.30, like clockwork, he wakes up. Every night at 10.30, he goes to bed. No exceptions. Seven hours, 30 minutes. Perfect. You look bright-eyed this morning. Eight hours last night. You? Maybe five? Six? I don't know. I dozed off on the couch for an hour yesterday afternoon, then couldn't sleep until past midnight. You know I worry about those naps of yours. What's wrong with a nap? I'm retired. Besides, I'm tired. My body's telling me I need rest. But are you listening to the right message? It's a debate as old as retirement itself. Should we nap? How much sleep is enough? And does it really matter once we're older? For years, the answer seemed flexible, personal, a matter of preference. But science was about to change everything. While Mary and John were having their coffee, researchers were completing one of the largest sleep studies ever conducted on older adults. They tracked thousands of people in their 60s and 70s, not for weeks or months, but for years. They wanted to know, does sleep really matter for heart health? And if so, how much and what kind? The results are significant, very significant. A year has passed. 